What is going on, Channel B Faction? My name is Joshua Williamson. Welcome back to Sly Cooper and the Thieves Raccoonus. Uh, I haven't made a gameplay video or a stream in a few days. I just haven't had the opportunity to. Things kept getting in the way. Uh, but anyways, let's continue. Where we last left off, we did uh, another Carmelita chase. So, And we only got one more uh, mission to do around here before we, start, we fight Mugshot. And I think it's that one back over there. Then again, I could be wrong, but my memory's hazy. It's been a few days. Yeah, it's this one. Back alley heist. This is the last mission before you fight Mugshot. <laughs> and like, like I said in the past video, I love, I love, I love the music that's in that's in these missions. In this episode, Sunset Snake Eyes. The only thing bad about this place is whenever you're whenever you're trying to find all the clues, it's easy to miss them because you, you just have to do so much jumping in this area. Yeah. I could have missed that easily. Okay, let me check and see if there's any left behind back there. And there's not. Okay, good. Let's get those clues right there. There's 18 more. Gosh dang it. Get it. <clears throat> Alright. Now you gotta get down low right here. So those spotlights don't detect you. Hide behind those. Jump over that. Now, I usually would have to move forward right there, but there was something I forgot to do. And I can't turn back, I forgot. And no matter, I can just have myself killed by purpose. On purpose, rather. I had to go down there. First of all, to get that lucky charm. And also, there's some clues down here. I thought there were. Oh. I'm remembering wrong. I thought there was clues down in this area. But there's not. My mind's playing tricks on me. Like I said, don't expect me to remember the locations of all the clues in this game. Because no matter how many times I play this game, I'll, I will always forget the locations of some of the clues. Now let's jump back down there. Gosh dang it. No matter, I had the lucky charm. Thought for a second that I could jump down, but wouldn't let me. That was so close. Get those clues right there that are going up and down those ropes. Get it, Sly. Gosh dang it. Oh, that helps me. Forgot. Any? Did I forget any? Doesn't seem like it. Those clues can be easy to miss, so make sure you grab them before you before you go further down, because you can't go back to them unless you start the mission all over again. Okay, 
Okay, only four more clues. Alright, there's, there's the vault right there, but... We gotta get that one clue down there first. Jeez, the thunderstorm's happening outside my house. G gosh dang it, Sly. Press the circle to enter the vault code. I could have broken this code in my sleep. The combination is 565. Five. Okay, 565. Five. So this is the decoy ability. And this is this is what it does. You just press triangle, throws that, and guards will mistake it as the real sly. The guards are really stupid sometimes in these games. Gosh dang it. Now let's get that key. <laughs> <sighs> All right, now let's go down and use the keys in that area to unlock the entrance to Mugshot's penthouse, and we fight him. All right, now throw the switch. I'm coming for you, Mugshot. Last call. <clears throat> Sorry, Mike. What? My boys have been yapping about some big mysterious dude running around cracking skulls and... <laughs> that was me. And, and this is it? You're the monkey wrench in my operation? Yep. Some scrawny rat with a stick. Raccoon. Uh, wait a second. I seen that stick before. Maybe yep. my father knocked your block off with it. Your father? Wow. You're a Cooper? You know that thing is Rakamagookus had a lot of nice pictures, but way too many big boys. So you don't mind just handing it over? What, <laughs> what are you kidding? You break into my place, steal my stuff, trash the joint, I feel transgressed and violated. Let's rock! Bring it on, Mugshot. Yeah, he, his arms are so big that he actually walks on them. Like, his arms are bigger than every other part of his body. Now, here's the catch, though. You can't hit him with a melee attack. He's too powerful. That's, that's why I said, uh... At the beginning of this episode, in the first cutscene for this episode, that he's one of the most powerful villains in the Sly Cooper series, and I just got myself killed. Those gun, those gunshots are very difficult to avoid. You gotta hit these mirrors and shine a light on all, on all of these bald thingies. You'll see what it does whenever you hit all of them. One more. He gets burned. Yep, that always messed me. How, how his arms were so big that they, that he actually walked on them and his feet were floating above the ground. Dang it. 
Yes, I'll try again. I lost all my lives. Let's do this again. Yeah, yeah, we know. We know, my shot. But I'm gonna beat you. No matter how gigantic your arms are. This is actually the hardest part of the boss fight, so... Once you get past this... Again... And if only had some lucky charms on me... Guns destroyed, or whatever he said. That's actually the hardest part of the boss fight. The next part is actually kind of easy. So as long as you don't fall off. Again, don't mind the thunder in the background, there's just a thunderstorm happening. Yeah. Don't let him shoot the mirrors, otherwise I'll turn around. That is, after you hit them. Alright, one more. And he's beat. This is impossible! <laughs> a little pipsqueak like you, beating a big strong bruiser like me? It happens, Mugshot, right. deal with it. You want all of that stupid picture book? You're gonna have to go down to Haiti and cross paths with Miss Wu. And then no problem. You, me, you don't want to be you. Mugshot section of the Phoebus Raccoonus contain an entry from my gunslinging ancestor, Tennessee Kid. Tennessee Kid Cooper. His specialty was the rail walk and rail slide. Moves perfected through a lifetime of theft in the old west. Getting out of town proved to be a little more challenging than getting in. Having just missed yep. us, Inspector Fox went for the next best thing and dragged that canine steroid case off to jail. She still would have rather have been slaughtered. That was the end of Mugshot's gambling empire, and Mesa City's citizens soon returned home. While me and the boys, well, we enjoyed the rest of our stay in America, and then returned to Paris, ready for our next mission. I wonder why they live in Paris. I figured out a way to get us to Haiti. Yeah, before we do that, Bentley, let's check up on Murray. He's playing a video game. Hi, Murray. Alright. Yeah. This is actually my favorite episode in the game. The third member of the Fiendish Five was the infamous voodoo priestess, Ms. Ruby. Born into a family of mystics, other children found her <laughs> scary. Yeah, wonder Teaching why. Teaching herself to summon the undead provided what few friends she had. A career in crime allowed an adult Ms. Ruby to punish the world for fearing her as a child. 
It's kind of sad. Chief Mystic for the Fiendish Five, her powers allowed them to break both the laws of man and nature at the same time. Yet despite the whirlwind success of her youth, she managed to slip into obscurity. Last known sightings claim she headed out of civilization and deep into the Haitian jungle. Vicious voodoo, psycho brain vicious voodoo. Like I said, this is my favorite episode in the game. The Dread Swamp Path. And yet, it is also kind of a scary area, too. A scary episode. Those mosquitoes are trying to bite you. Sorry, Sly, but this is one mission you will have to accomplish without me. You don't believe in ghosts, do you? Sure I do. My scanners <laughs> well, so do I, Bentley, so you and I are the same. Suck it up, Bentley. We got work to do. All right, then. Don't forget to use the new move you learned from mugshot section of the CVS Raccoon. Yeah, I was about to do it before you interrupted me. The roots and vines around here are perfect for that. All you gotta do is jump and hit yeah. the circle button. We Especially know. Especially where you see the bark has been worn away. And where it's super slick from Mickey Slime and Moss, you'll rail slide like a skater grinding pipe. Yeah. I'm liking it. It's one of the coolest abilities in the Thievius Raccoonus. The rail walk and rail slide. Get down there, slide. Did I forget any clues? No, I don't think I did. Alright. Yeah, you'll slide down like that. It's pretty fun. It'd be really fun to have that ability in real life. Think so, mosquitoes. All right, let's see. Did I forget any clues? There's one right there, but I'll actually have to go around to get to it. So. Just slide down these rails. Well, they're not really rails. They're tree branches, but... They catch you by surprise the first time you play this. See how many are there? There's 20 here. Gosh dang. I didn't even notice myself get squished by one of them. Yeah, I checkpointed all the way back there. You're disgusting. You know that you're disgusting. And what is the other one gulping about? He didn't even touch me. How many lives do I have left? Okay, one. Oh, give me lucky charm, lucky. Get back to where we were. Alright. Here we were. Let's retry this. Oh, at least I had the lucky charm. At least I had the lucky charm. 
Let's get that one. In case anything else stupid happens. That clue can be very easy to miss. Alright. There's a flashlight guard. Let him raise his flashlight out before you go past. I don't think so. Alright, there's four clues left. Yeah, I know. You've got to get past those photo guards, and I'm warning you, they're mean and they work like a team. I know. So we, buddy. Let's throw a decoy over there. <laughs> yeah, these guards are really stupid. Gosh dang it. And I was stupid too for not moving out of that guard's flashlight area. Where's the other one at? There it is. Alright, I got rid of all of them. No, I didn't. There's one left. There's two left. Alright. Got another life. Now I just gotta get rid of all these candles. So that I can get that key. Yeah, I'll steal the key in a second. I just gotta find the last clue. I think it's somewhere around this area. I hope I didn't forget it back... ...where I was coming from. Oh, there it is, right there. Again, I've said this a thousand times, but do not expect me to remember the location of all the clues. <clears throat> I always forget. Five eight eight. Electrified. Kelly McCooper's notes on how to harness the electromagnetic field created by a rolling raccoon. Now your raccoon roll move will really pack a punch. Plus, it should give you a nice tingling sensation. I'll show you what I mean. What it means, rather. Just roll, and you got that electrical thing surrounding it. So when you roll towards a guard, you'll hit it with an electric shock and immediately get rid of it. Oh, the key. <clears throat> Alright, let's unlock that door. Swamp Stark Center. Bit my tongue. My paranormal scanner is maxing out on that structure. A reading like that could only be coming off Ms. Ruby herself. I think you're right, Sly. If you want to crack at Ms. Ruby, you're going to have to find a way inside that skull temple. Yeah, I know. And yet, the music in this area, it stays like that. It's so eerie and, and creepy. Miss Ruby.
yeah, there she goes on. But I'm gonna end the, uh, the this playthrough here for now, uh, because my my leg is killing me from sciatica, and for some reason this chair is bothering it. Uh, but anyways, push down some alolum trinias on this. If you like to see your thumb up, please see thumb down. Also, show me my backup show me down in the description box. And be sure, be sure to click subscribe and become a member of the JW faction on a jury 10,000 subscribers. God loves you. See you later.